There once was a poor country man whose only inheritance to his three sons was his farm, his donkey, and his cat. The eldest son inherited the farm, the second eldest the donkey, and the youngest son inherited the cat. What on earth will I do with a cat? I can barely feed myself, said the youngest son. Let alone, how can I offer this pet anything? I have no money and am so poor. Don't worry, said the cat. If you can get me a sack and a pair of boots, you will see I am the most valuable thing your father ever owned. The son brought the cat what he asked for, as he knew he had nothing to lose. The cat put on the boots and took the sack to catch a plump rabbit. The cat wore the boots on his journey. He would be called Puss in Boots. He caught a plump rabbit and brought it to the king. Puss in Boots told the king the plump rabbit was a gift from his master, the Duke of Carabas. For several weeks, Puss in Boots brought the king many gifts from his master. The king was very <laughs> curious about Puss in Boots and his master, the Duke of Carabas. But the king knew that the duke was friendly and had the most well-behaved cat he had ever met. The king did not know that Puss in Boots had made up the name Duke of Carabas for his poor master. One day, the king and his daughter were riding in their carriage by the river. Puss in Boots told his master to take off his pants and shirt and jump in the river. His master agreed to do so. Then Puss in Boots yelled out, Help! Help! The Duke of Carabas is drowning! As the king's coach passed by him, the king ordered his driver to stop, and he told his guards to rush over and save the Duke of Carabas. The king saw Puss in Boots yelling and knew he must help him as he had been so generous to the king. Puss told the king the duke's clothes had been stolen. So the king offered the duke a fine suit of his own clothes to put on. The duke of Carabas got in the carriage for a ride. The king's daughter quietly told the duke he looked very handsome. <laughs> The Duke looked at her and told her she was very beautiful. <laughs> Along the way, Puss had asked all the farmers and workers on the road, If the king drives by, you must tell him the owner of all these lands is the Duke of Carabas, or the uh -huh. ogre who lives in the uh -huh. castle will eat you. All the farmers and workers answered when asked that the Duke of Carabas was their landowner when the king asked them. Puss in Boots ran ahead to the ogre's castle and asked the ogre about the trick he could do by changing into a small mouse from a big ogre. Puss in Boots told the ogre no one believed he could do a trick like that. The ogre said, watch me, as he turned into a small little mouse. <laughs> Puss in Boots grabbed the mouse and ate it up. And that was the end of the big bad ogre. Just then, the king's carriage arrived at the castle gate. Puss in Boots ran to meet the carriage and said, Welcome to the castle of the Duke of Carabas. His master could not believe what was happening. On the long ride in the carriage, he had fallen in love with the king's daughter. And Puss in Boots had planned everything to work out perfectly. The Duke asked the king if he could marry his daughter. And the king said, yes, of course. The Duke of Carabas and the princess were married and lived happily ever after in their castle. <laughs>
Puss in Boots was named a great lord and never had to hunt for mice ever again. Puss in Boots proved he was the best inheritance as he had promised his master.